Hi everyone, I'm Fatul Zivratvi, um, and today I'll be discussing on how we can democratize machine learning prognostics for cardiovascular diseases. So first, I'll talk a little bit about myself. I'm currently a rising junior at Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology. I have a passion for machine learning with a focus in computational biology and bioinformatics. I've worked on several research projects in ML as an ML researcher, and I'm currently doing two internships this summer at Dartmouth and George Washington. Next year, I'll be serving as a teaching coordinator for the TJ ML Club, where I'll teach important concepts in ML and get int people interested in this incredible field. And in my free time, I love playing chess and learning my, my favorite songs by the weekend on the piano. Before we dive into the topic, I'd like to set the stage with a scenario. Imagine a middle-aged woman named Alia living in Afghanistan. Alia has a low-income job. And thus, she often restricts her diet to cheaper foods, some of which also happen to be very high in saturated fat, a big contributor to coronary artery disease. Over time, the physical and nutritional stress that she puts on her body begins to show symptoms of the disease. She dismisses the chest pain as heartburn and something trivial. Eventually, she passes away due to not visiting the doctor or working to overcome her condition. Unfortunately, Alia is most certainly not alone. In fact, as of 2021, over 17.9 million people a year die as a result of cardiovascular diseases, with over 85% of those being of heart attacks and strokes. Worse, one-third of these occur prematurely in people under the age of 70. Income was also shown to be a factor, with three out of four people affected being of in, in low- and middle-income countries. Fortunately, many of these deaths are preventable, with early intervention and behavior, behavioral changes, which is why it is so important that we take CBD seriously. With that being said, the global health issue that we are facing here is a timely and proper intervention of CBDs. Current methods being used to, in medicine do their best to prolong the lives of individuals, but they fail to address all three important problems. The first is obviously the time sensitivity. As mentioned before, many of the deaths from CVDs were preventable, but a person had to have been aware and requested for medical assistance in a timely manner, which isn't always the case, especially when we leave the person to decide for themselves. This also needs to be more cost-efficient. Treatment plans and appointments can become quite expensive, irrespective of if a person has insurance or not. And due to the fact that many people are living in low- and middle-income countries, it's reasonable to say that they might not be able to afford the treatment that they need. Finally, it needs to be accessible. What's the point of creating an innovative, life-changing solution if we can't democratize it to the people that actually need it? In the past few years, ML has become a developing solution for precision uh, medicine and prognostics. In simple terms, ML is defined as the ability for computers to leverage and adapt the data without explicitly being programmed. As you can see, many companies in recent years have developed medical tools that rely on ML algorithms as the backbone of their diagnostics. In the context of CVDs, there's evidence that ML can be used as a diagnostic, and there has been a work done around it. However, there haven't been many well-rounded and effective products that address all the current issues. However, it is possible to do so. To show you what this would look like, I'll draw from a research project that I've been working on for a few months now. The objective of my work is to use sensors from smartwatch technology to detect cardiac edema, a life-threatening heart and lung condition. I'm using the ECG, PPG, and SpO2 sensors located in an Apple Watch to check for irregular heart and blood activity. This is collected for a couple of hours, and then the LSTA model will give a prediction of how likely I have the condition and or how likely I'll develop it. My hope is that by doing this, uh, we can have a more accessible solution to prognose CPE. Similarly, we can extend the concept of edge technology like watches to uh, prognose more conditions. Take, for example, a smartphone. One potential model can use smartphones and the biomarkers extracted from a health kit, a tool that is available on both Android and iOS, to conduct medical screenings and uh, predict future health conditions. This model considers factors such as daily active time, walking and running distance, walking step length, and walking asymmetry as potential motor-related CVD markers. On top of this, adding a system to track the calories and nutrition facts of the food consumed by a user and their body weight would benefit predictive analysis. 
Although the application of this model would require more data collection and is likely years ahead of us, the multivariate and non-invasive nature of this methodology would help users more practically and easily keep track of their CV health. Alternatively, the combination of a smartphone and a smartwatch provides enhanced capabilities. Building upon the smartphone model, this approach incorporates additional biometric data uh, captured by the smartwatch, such as the PPG, ECG, HRV, and SpO2 sensors. Incorporating sleep uh, tracking also helps identify sleep problems, which is often an indication of heart failure. By leveraging these comprehensive data points, the model can offer a more detailed analysis on CV health. In addition to prognostics, this sorting medium can also help with monitoring as well. If a potential health deterioration is diagnosed, a customized monitoring device with a tailored algorithm can be sent to the user. This device would enable more specific tracking of specific biomarkers relevant to the individual's condition. Additionally, a curated treatment plan would be provided to the user, aiming to improve their overall CV health and move out of the model's prediction of premature death. By offering more personalized recommendations and monitoring solutions, we can facilitate proactive interventions and empower individuals to take control of their well-being. So, to wrap things up, ML models, whether using smartphones alone or in combination with smartwatches or some hardware, hold the potential to democratize CBD prognostics. In all honesty, the ideas that I shared to you today only scratch the surface of precision medicine potential. By leveraging easily accessible devices and incorporating the biomarkers from sensors, we can provide timely and cost-efficient solutions for the early intervention and prevention of CV conditions. This approach paves the way for more, a more inclusive and more accessible healthcare system, addressing the global health challenges posed by CVDs. And with that, here are my references, and I just wanted to thank the Global Health Leaders Conference for giving me this wonderful opportunity and my family for the ongoing support. I'd also like to acknowledge the inspiration that my peers and mentors gave me to pursue meaningful issues like this. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. If you guys have any questions or just want to have a conversation with me, feel free to reach out to me anytime through my email. Thank you.